to a tutorial on how to start up a Terraria server without using host employee. So as you know, you would usually to start up a server, come onto this screen, go to multiplayer, and quick host and play. Now this is fine, but there are a few problems with it. First of all, you can't put in any commands on host and play. And second of all, it doesn't save when you quit. So if you've been playing on your server and all of a sudden you quit and come back onto the server and realize all my stuff is gone, well that is the reason why, because it doesn't save in host and play. So I'm just going to minimize this now. Okay, so before you start up this whole thing to get started with the server, you want to download LogMeIn Hamachi. And the link is in the description below, so go ahead and download that. And when you sign up, you just put in your username and your password or whatever. And then you want to come up to Network and say Create a New Network. And just put in your network ID and password. Then give that network ID and password to your friends so they can join this. They also need to have Logme and Hamachi to be able to join your server. So just give them that. And then, so now, let's just get started onto the server. So you click the Start button here. This is on Windows XP. And you want to come over to My Computer. And then come up here to Local Disk C colon double click on that and for you if you've never come into this area it will come up with a thing and it will say do you really want to come in here and edit these files because they're something that is very important and you say yes just completely ignore that so then you want to come into program files and then you want to scroll down till you hit steam right here go in here and then you want to go to steam apps it looks like steam maps but it's actually steam apps Double click on that, and you want to go to Common, and you want to go to Terraria, and then Terraria Server. Okay, so very simple to get to it. It does take a little bit of time, but it's pretty simple. Then just double click on this, open up this, and let's just start with a new world. Obviously, you can choose these worlds by using the corresponding numbers to whatever world it is. So let's just make a new world. So press N and return and choose which one you want. So I'm going to choose small because it's the fastest to make and that's one, medium is two, large is three. So one and return. Enter your world name, whatever you want and let's just put test for me. And then it will just make your world and just let it make the world here. And it's just going to generate all that stuff. and creating underworld this is a very long process because the underworld is huge as you may know because it takes so long so now it's creating dungeon and settling liquids and it's loading up planting trees saving world data just let it do all this. Just wait around while it does this. Does this. Does this. Just be patient. It will work. Just let it go. Save your world data. And if you have a large world, it will take a lot longer. Just to tell you. Right. And it's about to be done. And okay. So now we are done here, as you can see, because this is blinking here. So first thing you probably want to do, or this now, it has this here. So now you have to choose your world. Okay, so again, corresponding numbers. So one is this. And so my world is the test world, and it's going to be five. So as you can see, corresponding numbers. So five, enter. Max players, you can choose this, you can set it to whatever you want, it really is up to you and the power of your computer, but I'm going to leave it at 8. Press enter, and now the server port, you can also change this so people can't just go on and play, and I'm not going to change it, so press enter again, and server password, I'm going to leave it at none for now, press enter, and now it's just going to reset everything that you made on the other world. And this will take just probably a few seconds. It's not going to take too long because it is a small world. 
Just let it load up. Don't worry. And we're now at 50%. And it's almost done here. And come on. All right, 100%. Now settling liquids very fast. And starting server. So now the server is started up, as you can see right there, because the blinking thing there. And it will bring you to this, this screen here. So first thing that you're probably going to want to do is press help. And this will give you the list of commands. So H-E-L-P, obviously. And enter. So now I'm going to just walk you through everything. Help displays a list of commands. Playing shows the list of players who are playing. So basically, if somebody connects and then it goes off the screen, because it will tell you if they connected. And if it goes off the screen, then you can just say playing, and it will come up with whoever is playing on the server. Clear. Now, this will clear the console window. And for instance, I have a lot of stuff up here. Well, not that much, actually. But all this I could clear just by putting in clear, and I'll do that after I read you through everything. Exit is just to shut down the server. Exit non-save is shutting down the server without saving. So be sure you want to do this. If you don't want to do this, do not put one non-save on there. Save, it will save the game world, obviously. Kick the player, so kick and then the player's name right there. And it will kick the player from the server. Ban and then the player's name. It will ban the server person from the server. Password and that will show the password password and then the password right here you can change the password the version will tell you what version you are on the game time will tell you what time it is in the game on the server port will print will print the listing port so that is whatever your active port is it will print that and then max players it will print the maximum of amount of players that you can have on the server say and then whatever you want to say right there and we'll say it on for people that are playing on the server it will say server or console and then it will come up and say that okay dawn change the time to dawn noon change the time to noon dusk and that will change the time to dusk and midnight will change the time to midnight settle and that will settle all water so for instance if you have infinite flowing water for some reason you can just say settle and it'll settle that water the MOTD and that will print the MOTD you might be asking yourself what is the MOTD and that is when you join the server it will come up and tell you what the name of the world is and welcome or whatever it says and so now you can say MOTD and then the what you want it to actually say so you can make it say hello hi all that stuff and that will just come up whenever you join the server and then right up here again I'm gonna do clear so since I have this whole thing here I might not want it so I just say clear so that is C L E A R enter and I'll just clear everything there. So it doesn't really do anything besides clear the list of commands and everything that were on your current screen. So if a lot of people are talking, just say clear, and that will clear off your server screen. And really quick, before I do this, is over here on this screen here, when you ban somebody, their name and IP will come up on that screen. So I'll give you an example by coming over here and go into multiplayer and saying join and then put my person or your person if you have a Terraria person you're making the server obviously so you do and what you want to do is if it's on your computer you put L O C A L H O S T and that is local host as you can read and just put that in and then say accept and then server port as 777 because we haven't changed it now, one thing is that the people who don't have, that aren't on your server, what they're going to need to do is go over here, and they're going to need to go to Log Me and Hamachi, and they're going to just need to put in this IP right here. So whatever your IP is, it will show up right here, and they just need to put that in. And that will show up on their screen also. So under 
under whatever server area. So if you have a server and you're hosting it, it will tell them the, it will have your name and then it will show their, your IP there. So I'm just going to put in localhost because it's easier. And again, for other people, they'll need to put in your IP. So accept, then the server port, accept. And now uh, see up here, now it says I'm connecting right there. And so see, now I have joined the game, this completely new world. So right here, so I'm in, that was weird. Okay, so anyways, so I'm in the world now. And now if I come over here, I can say, say, and then hi. And server says hi. And you can see right there. And so now if I press enter, see, it says welcome to test. Okay, now that can be changed very easily by just going in here and again doing M-O-T-D and then saying whatever you want and say let's say hello and welcome okay and then we just press enter and there we go so now if I say disconnect <clears throat> and now join again and this will keep here as long as you don't exit. And again, it's going to say up here, I'm connecting. Hello and welcome, right there. So that's cool. You can customize that to whatever you want. So now, let's say you want to ban somebody. Okay, so then we say ban, F-M-R-E-S-S-E-L. Banned. And it comes up on their screen, it says banned from server. Okay, so now if I try to ban, or if I try and join now, says you are banned from the server and it will say right there was booted you are banned from the server okay so now cancel and now you can't come over here and say unban it doesn't work it's not in the command so you come over here and here's the ban list double click on that and as you can see here fm wrestle and it has my ip so if you want to you can just delete that if you don't actually want them to be there or if you don't want them to be banned you just say save and go out there. And now, if I go to multiplayer, join, FM Razzle, accept, accept, there you go. Now I'm unbanned and I'm into the server. So that's a really simple way to activate your own server without doing host and play. And this is really important if you do a lot of things on the server, you're going to want to do this because then you can save. So just say disconnect now. And then I'm going to exit out of this. And I'm going to come over here and just say save. So it will automatically save by itself over time. And it will automatically save. But if you want to, you can force save it. Now, what I can do is just say clear. And clear all that off my screen. So now I'm going to say exit. And that will get me out of the world. It will, it's disconnecting and saving world. Backing up world file, and then it automatically goes away. And so that is your simple tutorial on how to start up a Terraria server without using host and play. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if it helped you out. Goodbye.